In a previous lesson, we proved that group homomorphisms map identities to identities. Today, we'll use that result to prove another basic property of homomorphisms, that they map inverses to inverses. To be specific, if f is a homomorphism from a group G to a group H, then for any element A in that domain group G, the image of A inverse under the homomorphism will be the inverse of A's image. In case you need it for reference, here is the definition of a homomorphism, and here is that result that homomorphisms map identities to identities. Relevant links in the description if you need to review either of those topics. But let's get into the quick proof of this result, that a homomorphism maps inverses to inverses. It's pretty useful. All right, we've got our homomorphism F from a group G to a group H, and we've got an arbitrary element from G called A. Let's begin the proof by considering F of a times f of a inverse. By definition of a homomorphism, this is equal to f of a a inverse, since this is the key property of a homomorphism, is that it preserves the group operation. a times a inverse, of course, is just the identity element of g, because a and a inverse are from g. We might call that identity just eg. And then f of eg like we said, homomorphisms map identities to identities, so f of eg is just the identity of h, which we could call eh. So in total, what this line of equations has shown is that f of a, f of a inverse is equal to the identity of the group h. Only one more step to reach our result. We're going to multiply both sides on the left by the inverse of f of a. And so that brings us here, the inverse of f of a times f of a, f of a inverse, equals the inverse of f of a times the identity of h. Now here on the right, f of a inverse times the identity of h is just f of a inverse. And here on the left, we have the inverse of f of a times f of a. Those combine to the identity, so that can pretty much just go away, and we are left with the equation we desire. f of a inverse on the left equals the inverse of f of a on the right. Again, in the last step, on the left, we had the inverse of f of a times f of a, which just disappears because that's the identity. And then we had on the right, the inverse of f of a times the identity of h, the identity of h we don't need to write. And so we just get here. Thus, we've proven that group homomorphisms map inverses to inverses. <laughs>